Hello, my name is Christian. And my name is Stefan. And we both welcome you to week zero, unit one, how this course works. This course addresses real beginners in programming. So if you have never ever implemented a program, but you are simply interested what this programming is all about, then this course is for you. If you have learned to implement within another language and you're just interested in Python, then you can as well participate in this course. The course covers the basics of Python like variables, data types and control structures. We introduce these concepts week by week, we'll explain how they work in Python and we'll provide examples to support your understanding. You cannot learn programming by just following uh, the course or reading a book. If you want to learn programming, you have to program, program, program. This is like playing a piano. You cannot learn piano playing by just reading a book about it. You have to play and practice. For this reason, the course offers a lot of programming exercises. We expect you to participate, to go through the programming exercises and to implement Python programs. It's best if you do this on a weekly basis, because programming, learning programming requires repetition. Consequently, there are mandatory programming exercises that you need to hand in in order to gain a course certificate. So what are we going to offer week by week? Week one, Python fundamentals like statements, variables and data types. In week two, we cover lists and loops. In week three, we cover more complex data types and week four is about reading and writing data into files. Week five, we are um, addressing functions. So we would like to reuse code and to do this in a broader scope, we introduce libraries in week six. The main learning material for this course are Jupyter Notebooks. What are Jupyter Notebooks? So, we split each week into several units. Each unit starts with a few slides. And after that, we go into the content of the unit, which will be contained in a Jupyter Notebook. A Jupyter Notebook is a combination of documentation and programming in one place. In the slide, I have a little screenshot of a Jupyter Notebook, where you can see already a documentation, some text and program code as well as the result of this program code. Thus, Jupyter Notebooks are, in our opinion, the perfect tool for learning programming and therefore we are going to use it. In Unit 3 of Week 0, we will explain you how to install the necessary software on your computer and in Week 4, we will show you how to use Jupyter Notebooks. All units contain a quiz or a short programming exercise. These quizzes and exercises can be done as often as you like. You can skip them or you can repeat them. They are not mandatory for the certificate. And we'll provide example solutions, especially for the exercises. At the end of the week, there is a weekly assignment. These assignments consist of questions and of programming exercises. You have to complete these assignments to gain the certificate at the end of the course. A week later, we'll provide commented, commented example solutions for each of the exercises. In addition to that, we will also offer additional exercises. These do not count towards the certificate. They aim to provide additional examples or to extend the material we have been discussing. Again, we will provide commented example solutions for these additional exercises. At the end of the course, there's a final exam. The final exam consists of a questionnaire and programming exercise. What can you expect from us? And what do we expect from you? If you participate in the course, you can expect the following from us. We will offer new learning material 
every week. This covers notebooks, videos and some more. Additional notebooks with additional exercises will be provided as well. Most example solutions will be explained within a video. You can look over our shoulder, so to say, while we are programming and actually just observing experienced programmers is a good way to start learning programming. And we'll try to answer each question in the forum. So what do we expect from you? You should try to implement the exercises yourself. You should hand in the weekly assignment in order to gain the course certificate. Furthermore, we ask you to actively participate in the forum, ask questions or answer questions of other participants. Finally, you should not hesitate to use other learning materials as well. There are lots of learning materials on Python on the internet, videos, tutorials, books and so on, and you should use them as well in order to learn programming. You want to use your own IDE, your own integrated development environment? Maybe you prefer just another IDE and just would like to use a Jupyter Notebooks for reading but not for programming. You can do so. However, we do not give support for using any other IDE. And for the programming assignments, you then have to upload your programs. You simply have to copy and paste your programs into CodeOcean, which will be explained in the next unit.